Hey, Austin, what allowed you guys to turn this game around? Oh, I think we just uh, got to playing a little bit better. Um, you know, our start wasn't very good, and um, you know, it just seemed like we weren't uh, ready to play from the puck drop. And um, you know, I, I think it showed. And uh, they're a really good team. They got a lot of really young, skilled guys that uh, you know can obviously make you pay. And they had some, um, you know, a lot of chances tonight, especially early on. So, um, you know, credit to our our guys for staying with it. And um, you know, just staying patient, just continuing to fight uh, all night long, and huge play by the uh, PK with uh, Footer and uh, Mickey to get us that goal there, and um, on the PK. So, uh, just all around, really good effort. Uh, I think the last half of the game, and just to, to will our way to, to get a two points. When you see your starter get pulled, does that kind of spark the bench to kind of turn things around? Like maybe more of a statement on the game than the goaltender, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think. I mean. Uh, you know, Souk didn't play bad. We just gave up such great A chances for them and they capitalized on them. So, um, you know, like you said, I think it's more of a, a wake-up call for the guys that are out there playing, not, not necessarily our goaltender because uh, we weren't really helping them out much there at the start. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Austin Sheldon was talking this morning about uh, your face-off proficiency as a team, and obviously the tying goal comes off a of face-off in the offensive zone. What would have been your perspective on what the wingers have been doing maybe a little bit better this year to help you guys win so many face-offs? Yeah, I think it's a group effort every time. Um, you know, especially, um, you know, a lot of those draws are 50-50 pucks and, um, you know, a lot of good centermen in the league that are strong, and it's hard to really snap uh, back draws clean. So it's uh, it's a full effort from the wingers, and uh, I think we've done a really good job all all year long to uh, get in on those pucks and, and help out the centermen and win those 50-50 battles because I think it's really important um, on face-off to start with the puck. So, Mitch, six-game goals, streak longest of his NHL career since he came back from COVID. What's standing out to you about the way he's playing right now? I think he's just playing free. Um, you know, he's just playing off instinct out there, and it's fun to watch. I mean, he's obviously an amazing player, and he's a lot of fun to play with. Um, I just think when, when he's out there and he's just flowing like that, it's, uh, it's a treat to watch, and it's uh, a lot of fun to be out there with him uh, playing and uh, making plays. And, you know, I thought Bonds played really well tonight. He, he really worked hard and created a lot of havoc in their crease and uh, wore down their defense. Um, you know, he just wins battles left and right. But, um, you know, I thought those two really worked hard tonight. And last one here, we'll go to Michael Bradley with the NHL. Go ahead, Michael. Michael, you're on mute. Austin, last Friday, Sheldon and a couple of your teammates were talking about your growing leadership role with the team. Can, is that something that you focused on this uh, season? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, every year I've tried to take a step forward in that uh, category. And um, I think I'm in my sixth year now. So, um, you know, I definitely think it's uh, it's been time for me to take another step in that regard. And uh, I just try to lean on the guys that have been here, um, you know, a little bit longer than me and that have been around uh, in the league longer and just kind of lean on them and um, try to pick their brain on stuff. But uh, just be myself every day and, and come to the locker room and, and set an example for everybody.